गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन सो विल स्टार्ट लेसन नंबर थ्री फोर्स ओके सो इन दिस कमिंग एग्जाम वी विल सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द फोर्स ओके एंड द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ द फोर्स एंड द टाइप्स ऑफ द फोर्स ओके सो एज यू हैव लर्न इन स्टैंडर्ड फाइव ऑल्सो अबाउट फोर्स सो देर इज अ वॉर्म अप एक्टिविटी जस्ट टू रिव्यू अप वट एवर योर प्रीवियस नॉलेज इज ओके सो इन द फर्स्ट वन यू नीड टू राइट थ्री एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ पुश एंड पुल दैट यू सी इन डे टू डे लाइफ एंड यू हैव टू राइट थ्री एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन ऑब्जर्व इन डे टू डे लाइफ सी चिल्ड्रेन हियर द रेगुलर डे टू डे एक्टिविटीज आर सम पिक्चर्स आर गिवन लाइक ओपनिंग द डोर kicking the football so here all the examples are there if you pick up the pencil from the table or you lift your school bag and put it on your shoulders or when we are going for shopping or when we are closing the door so everything here the even when you are playing also so all those examples from our day to day life depict the use of force then what is force how you define force see here force is very commonly used word by us you know you uh, when you exert some force you may open or close the door or when you kick a ball or throw a ball or hit a ball then what you are doing you are applying force see this riksha puller what he is doing he is applying force to pull down the riksha with the uh, load see here a child is trying to catch the ball so all of these are the applications of force so force may be defined as a push or a pull which is acting on a body okay which tends to change its state of rest or motion or the speed or the direction of motion or change in its shape or size how force may be defined as a push so when you have to enter in a room see the door is closed then you have to push the door to open it okay so if a car doesn't starts by the engine what happens people push the car forward to bring it motion when you play carrom also then what happens you need to push the striker okay like a vegetable vendor pushes the cart on the road okay then if uh, you know uh, have you have to see the examples of pulling as a force then you see here only the thing you require is a ball tell your friend to throw the ball towards you then what will happen you will catch the ball then how you will catch the ball you will pull the ball with your fingers towards you am i right and then you will apply force to stop the moving ball okay here you can see a horse is applying force to pull the cart okay fill with load and the persons like i have shown you earlier the picture of a rickshaw puller and when you uh uh um, want to move out of your car then what happens you open the door by pulling it so these all things are the examples which shows we uh or you can say force as a pull to so force is defined as a push or pull which changes or tends to change the state of rest or of uniform motion of an object or change its shape size or direction okay i hope it is clear force is denoted by
there are several units to measure force okay like gram force kilogram force dyne or newton but the standard unit of force is newton denoted by capital n okay now we'll see the effects of the force the first effect of a force is a force can start motion so very uh, common example is there when you pedal a cycle then what happens or push a box then what happens motion starts or the box changes its position from one place to another place this happens because the cycle which was earlier on rest when you apply force that makes it move the same thing happens when you kick a ball during a football match okay so force can start a motion but this is not necessary that always it will start an uh, motion in an object so what will happen if the force is not sufficient then what will happen like the boy is pushing an almira if the force is not sufficient and the almira is too heavy and it won't move okay so sufficient force is needed to make an object move then second is force can stop a motion see what happens when uh, you catch a ball then you apply the force and stop the motion so a fielder in cricket also exerts force on the moving ball and stops its motion same thing happens when you apply brake on a moving vehicle so the driver pushes the brakes and applies force on it and what happens the vehicle stops moving then third is force changes the direction of motion so when a batsman hits the ball then what happens see here force uh, is applied on the bat and the ball is hit and the ball changes its direction so the force can change the direction of motion it can also change the speed of the moving object okay so if you apply the force in the same direction the object will move fast and if you will apply the force in the opposite direction then the speed of the moving object decreases here we are applying force on the to uh, toothpaste tube and what happens the shape of the tube changes here the ball is also d shaped because force is applied on it so that proves that force can change the shape of the body you may have seen your mama making roti na so what happens to the dough she applies force on the dough and changes the dough into small balls again she applies the force on the dough and changes into thin flat rotis so force can change the shape size of the body see this is the picture of sir isaac newton and he formulated the theory of gravitation by watching an apple falling from the tree okay see here the dough cha is changing its shape so by application of force so you have to do now see the activity 3.3 you need to write the activity 3.3 in your notebook okay and you need to complete the activity okay so you need to write the activity and the effect of on the object now see stop and reflect this question as your homework in the next class we'll discuss the types of forces okay that's all for today i hope you have understood